Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the webinar. Um, our webinar is entitled, as you can see, your options um, for upgrading smart reports to Yellowfin version 9. Um, and I know I'd like to say a welcome. We've got customers and partners from across the globe joining us today, whether you're in the USA, Europe, uh, you know, Middle East and South Africa, right across. So it's either good morning, good afternoon, good evening, but, but uh, it's nice to have you, have you on with us. Um, and I'm really excited to introduce the um, agenda and our speakers for today as we kick off. Uh, so my name is uh, Jean Lawson. I actually manage our partner channel at Yellowfin and um, for all the customers on this call, I've actually been liaising over the, the previous months with the BMC partners and our Yellowfin partners that over the last year, just supporting these strategy conversations um, on the options now that, that, that smart reporting is coming to end of life. Um, we will be recording the session for you today so you can take this away um, and share with your teams as well. Um, and we do anticipate a ton of questions. So um, you'll see in the right hand side of the panel, if you can navigate your way around the, the around uh, your screen, you'll see a, a Q&A little chat box. So, you know, do post your questions in there. We, we do anticipate a, a good few. Uh, and we'll try and pick these up probably at the end of each speaker section, just so we cover your questions as we go through. So just without further ado, just moving on to the, you know, the way we're structuring today's session, walking through the various important elements with you. So the first thing we're going to start with is really just taking a step back and looking at the current status on smart reporting. Where are we now? Um, you know, if you're sure you've been having these internal discussions. So we're going to be discussing some of the background and the current status um, and including some of the options and, and the feedback we're hearing from the market as well. You know, we, we have had so many questions from customers. Yellowfin is the technology for smart reporting, trying to work out how can you keep all, all of those existing reports, the dashboards, all the work uh, uh, that you've put in over the years, rather than move to the Helix dashboards, which may not be a fit for your, your um, internal use case. Um, so we're going to share some of that feedback and, and share some sample scenarios and considerations for you to think about, about your options going forward. Um, and Jeff is also going to be discussing pricing later in the session as well, just to give you some ballpark ideas on what, what this will cost as part of your business uh, internal business case. Um, we're also really, really pleased to have um, Carl Edwards joining us today. Carl Edwards is from Rhino Analytics, one of our partners. Um, and Carl, in a previous life, it was a lead consultant, uh, lead solutions consultant actually at Yellowfin. So knows Yellowfin inside out. Uh, knows all things Yellowfin, but he's also very, very familiar with smart, the smart reporting license and the architecture around that. So Carl is going to be covering that te technical pathway section, looking at the methodology for migrating your reports. And we have got a an initial uh, first version draft on, on how to approach this and, and, the, and the different steps. And we will try and make, make sure we have time to cover as many questions on that technical piece as possible and, and take advantage of Carl being on this call with us today. Uh, and then I'm going to be coming back at the end. We've got um, just a short section on what assets do we have to support you, uh, what documentation, the guides, etc. So I'll, I'll also talk through that plus possible next steps. Um, and there also is a section I, I meant to add on to this front slide as we will talk through, um, you know, the options for partner services for you. We, we have given your BMC partners all a briefing over a week ago and been talking to most of them throughout the year. So they should be enabled to, to support you, to support you on this. Um, Anyway, without further ado, we do have a lot to sort of crack through today. So without further ado, I'm going to, I mean, I'm really pleased to pass over to Jeff Shepard, um, who's the sales VP for EMEA. So just passing over to you, Jeff. Thank you. Thanks, Jean. Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody. Good evening. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to join us today. Hopefully over the next 45, 50 minutes, plus some time for questions we can give you some clarity on a situation that's been lurking around now for probably at least 12 months, I think. Since, well, probably more than 12 months since um, BMC announced um, potentially the, the future of smart reporting and what it was and what it wasn't going to be. So uh, just to quickly summarize, um, I'm assuming as most people on, on this call have, are aware of the situation, but for the, for the sake of clarity, I'll spend a minute or two just going looking at the background. Uh, smart reporting is is an OEM of Yellowfin. So if, if anyone doesn't know that, that's actually so. When we're saying we're migrating to Yellowfin, we're actually migrating to a different release and version of Yellowfin. 
your smart reporting is yellowfin um, in terms of in terms of what the history has been for the last you know number of years. Uh, first introduced as part of the Remedy ITSM Suite Nine release, and we, as we know, BMC has communicated the end of life plan for smart reporting, including the goal to move most or all customers as as much as many as they can. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming to their BMC Helix cloud platform. Um, our estimations are there are approximately 1,500 BMC Helix ITSM Remedy. You excuse the interchange of words here, but you can you can interchange Helix and ITSM in some instances, not in others, globally. And there's still a significant proportion or a significant majority of around those. We we estimate around 1,300 customers who are still using the on-premise Remedy versions. And we're fully aware that you know one of the things that we have to make sure that we talk about is that you can continue to be supported by BMC on the BMC platform and making sure that you know that your smart reporting is supported in an in a equally um, enterprise class way as well. So we're fully aware that you need to be able to upgrade or move forward with your reporting as well as move forward with your BMC platform upgrades and features. What we do know is based on the feedback Gene's alluded to is not all customers will be able to migrate to the BMC Helix Cloud platform quickly uh, or upgrade to the to the, to the latest BMC Helix release. We know this customers had challenges with thinking about moving to containerization, even on-premise containerization. We're aware of some of the challenges are about some of the hardware costs involved in delivering against that architecture. And we know there's some customers who've got some concerns about the cost and, and plan and, and, and the plan to get that achieved and continue to move their business forward. So we, by no means have we got every exhaustive question, every exhaustive issue that we've been raised. So please, one thing I would say throughout this is communicate with us either through the through the course of this presentation or after it. There's nothing like a, a conversation about your specific challenges to actually make sure that we can shape and understand your needs and make sure we deliver a proposition to you which is actually tuned into what you need and not just a vanilla fits all. But we do have to start with a basic foundation and this is what this is intended to be today. Which BMC products are end of life? I know BMC has moved some dates around, but fundamentally as we stand today, um, April 2023, uh, which was originally April 2022, is when smart reporting has been, as Yellowfin smart reporting as is, has been withdrawn from support by BMC. Um, but we've already, as we said, we've already extended, or they've already extended that because customers couldn't move fast enough. Um, but at the moment it's, it's penciled in as April 2023. And the fact that so few customers have moved yet to containers is, uh, is it's just part of the challenges that we appreciate you guys as BMC customers and the partners who support them are facing. Our understanding is that this applies to the use of smart reporting with BMC service management products and they're they are listed there. Um, and smart reporting deprecation affects the following products. Uh, I, uh, Remedy ITSM, now called BMC Helix ITSM on-premise. Remedy Service Management, now called BMC Helix ITSM on-premise. And BMC... Uh, Helix custom applications. If there's anything there that's not confusing or anything that you want to add to that, then please, this has been a moving feast now for a while. Um, it's a bit like an MOT. The day that you get the car tested, it passed, but you know the next day something changes. So we're really trying to get this nailed against the April 2023 um, timeline and make sure that we provide you guys with as much information as possible to make the right decision about how you're going to move forward with reporting for, for the BMC platform. Um, again, we can provide you with this if you needed it, but these are the various um, releases related to the smart reporting version, linked to the Yellowfin version, linked to the upgrade path. What it's fair to say is that Yellowfin release 7 and release 8, release 7 is already out of support, regardless of, of, of the BMC situation, and Yellowfin release 8 as Yellowfin comes out of support at the end of December. So to the continued use of Yellowfin as a reporting platform needs to be on release 9, or move to release nine as soon as possible after the end of at the end of December to make sure that you're on a supported platform. And again, we can provide more additional information. But the fundamental area is Yellowfin release eight dot X, regardless of the situation, is is coming to end of life support for Yellowfin before the end of uh, the end of this year. So what are your options? I'm just going to make a double check see if there's any questions come in. Right. So what are your options? Um, you always have options, which is a good thing. Often the, the difficulty is selecting the right option. So we look at the options that are available to you guys and what you can do. Um, being end of life, uh, BMC will be providing limited support. We can define or we can we can argue what limited support is, but from that perspective, there will be no support 
certainly no patches, no fixes, no service packs from, from a release A perspective of Yellowfin. Having, that, having said that, release A should be a fairly stable release given its, its age and its maturity. So you've got some options now to decide what to do. You can continue to go down the, the B, BMC dashboard route, which is obviously Grafana. I mean, we'll call it BMC dashboards, but we know it's Grafana. But we are already aware that there are significant challenges with potentially migrating your Yellowfin capability that you've got within Yellowfin to Grafana. They are two different products. Yellowfin is a, is a fully featured enterprise class BI reporting platform um, with lots of added features in that make it easy for your customers to continue to evolve and use the platform. And Grafana just isn't built to be the same as, as Yellowfin. I'll, I'll let you guys make your own minds up if you've seen the Grafana smart re uh, the Grafana reporting option, what you think of it. Um, but it certainly isn't the like for like, certainly not for customers who've spent time and effort in developing the Yellowfin platform to deliver more than just out of the box custom, uh, more than just out of the box reports and done some customization. You could obviously then move to a third party BI tool. If you've got other BI tools licensed within your organization, you may be looking to how you can do that. And that's obviously a valid option again, but there is the option. And what we're presenting today is that you as an organization can, can continue to take advantage of the investment you've made, your users familiarity with using Yellowfin as the reporting platform for, for ITSM. And not only that, but we can give you a platform which has got extended features and capability, which we're making available as part of the upgrade to Yellowfin 9, regardless of whether it's it's, it's BMC. And what I mean by that is this isn't a, a light version of Yellowfin. When you, or if you then move to the Yellowfin version release 9 as part of your smart reporting, other than potentially, potentially some, challenge, some restrictions around data sources, the platform is the fully featured Yellowfin platform that you can take advantage of. So we think there are distinct advantages in considering moving or migrating or upgrading to the Yellowfin 9 release. Uh, as we said, we've alluded to the new Helix dashboards do not cover all the smart reporting functionality. I'll come on to a, into after Carl's conversation. I'll send you a link as part of this presentation. We've got a link to a BMC. Um, it's in the public domain to a webinar that they gave about migrating from smart reports to to the, uh, the the Grafana Helix dashboard option. And within that, there's a transcript of about 50 questions that were raised by customers. I would strongly recommend that you look at that, um, you look at that transcript of that webinar. The slides are there available as well. And there was, as I said, there's about 50 questions raised by the audience, predominantly BMC customers and partners. And some of the questions and some of the answers to those questions were, um, that certain capabilities that you, you've got available today are not available within the Grafana option and potentially are maybe some while. So you need to really understand whether they're available to you in your business. Um, we've talked about the containerized deployments of Helix requiring a different approach. One of the things that I think is the overarching perspective of what we're trying to position the upgrade to Yellowfin 9 as is really about risk mitigation. You know, you've got to continue to run your business. You've got an awful lot of challenges and we don't want to talk about the macroeconomic climate we've, we're finding ourselves in at the moment. But change is difficult, change is expensive, and change is risky. If we can help you maintain a, uh, a status quo that you're comfortable with and, and, and mitigates and manages that risk and allows your users to continue to drive value, then we think that's an extremely good option, and we should be presenting that to you and making you aware of that, which is really why we're here today. I can talk about cost optimization. Because obviously, you know, you can't press a button and necessarily migrate the Yellowfin reports across over to any other platform. So we really do help need to help you understand what the cost implications are of either staying with Yellowfin or moving across. And again, that's a big part of what we want to talk to you with with your BMC partners about over the next few weeks. Um, and the cost and inconvenience and technical challenges. Um, we've talked about that. And one of the things that we are, as I've alluded to earlier, Yellowfin from release seven, release eight, we're now at release 9.8 has moved on significantly. And so there's additional features and capabilities that we can make available to you that you're probably not even aware of within the release seven or release eight, you're used to with the smart reports. So there's lots and lots of things and lots of potential value we can offer. We just need to make sure that it's the right thing for you to do. And one of the things we do need to do, as I said, is really manage that expectation to make sure that we, you're, you're very comfortable with what the options are. As I alluded to earlier, there's a link in this, in this um, deck, which you'll get a copy of, which is a link to that BMC webinar. And it's there about the transition from ICSM smart reporting to, to BMC Helix dashboards. We've just given some very brief examples of the 50 questions that were asked. 
you know, one is, will you support conversion from 2008 on-prem smart reporting to 22X on smart reporting container environment? And the above, and again, the answer there was the above scenario is possible in the future. You need to understand what that means to you guys. Is there a chart, but also a table SR report? No current, in current version, it will convert only the chart. And will the multiple conversion tool drill through links for specific reports? Will the tool work with dashboards that contain multiple reports and filtering? Drill through is not supported. Multiple filters will be converted and dashboards containing multiple reports is under consideration for future releases. These are the kind of details as a customer uh, and as a user of the ITSM smart reporting platform, you really need to understand the implications of, of the different capabilities and features of the two platforms. So I, wouldn't, I couldn't recommend highly enough that you actually get a chance to look at that BMC community, particularly the Q&A piece. And we are obviously looking at that as well and trying to dis distill out of that a set of FAQs that we think can um, can give you some insight, you know, some some clear insight much quicker than just looking through the 50 questions. So please bear with us and we provide that as part of the assets. There is a better way to upgrade and in a minute I'll be introducing Carl to talk about how to do that. You can now purchase a fully supported standard off the shelf Yellowfin platform for release 9.7, 9.8. Um, it is it is the standard product, so there is no, as I said before, there is no dilution or there's no gotchas in that. It is the is, is the enterprise product that we sell to to all our other customers. So the supporting of that platform is is core to Yellowfin. In addition, um, what we can do if required for you guys, there is the option to extend the Yellowfin capability from just the BMC data sources, and we do have one or two customers who've, who've accessed other data sources to allow Yellowfin to be a more broader reporting platform for ITSM. That is something we, we very much like to talk to you guys about if that's the feature for you. And we've also included all the features that are the add-on features for Yellowfin, such as um, such as storytelling and uh, signals. So there is a, a wealth of capability that can be available to you guys um, should you wish to, to consider that option. And we think that's a, a very valuable um, perspective. So just to summarize for a handover, um, dashboards have been significantly improved. So there's an amazing user experience now within the Yellowfin 9 release. Self-service analytics, guided NLQ is now part of the core platform. You get access to the guided NLQ. So your, let's call it your non-technical business users for want of a better description can now just ask questions of the data and get answers in a guided NLQ perspective. Um, obviously, we are, we're very strongly embedded as well. We've included signals and we've included data stories and storytelling and augmented analytics in all the capability and all the options available to you. So there is a, a, there is a, a significantly more powerful platform available to you guys should you wish to take advantage of that. With that, given I'm at 20 minutes, um, I would like, well, it's a great pleasure, and I would like to introduce, but it's also a pleasure to introduce Carl uh, from, from Rhino IT. Uh, Rhino is, as, as you've alluded to, one of our strongest partners, been a partner for a long time, and Carl's specific expertise and the thing he brings to this is not only an understanding of the Elephant, but a good understanding of the, of the BMC architecture as well. I'm delighted for him to, to introduce him, and he's going to just walk you through some of the key, some of the key technical paths that we've undertaken and tested to make sure that we can provide you with a path that, that delivers the right outcome. Um, I'll come back to you at the end of that and probably introduce a little bit more from Gene where we can talk about some of the steps forward and the assets and the things that we're going to make available to you. But on this, this note, I'll leave you at this point and it's my great pleasure to introduce Carl. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, nice to talk with you all. So, um, yes, can can we move you from uh, your current version of Yellowfin, which is, uh, as Jeff uh, mentioned, is a bit out of date, um, uh, going end of life if you're on version 8 at the end of the year. Uh, if you're on version 7, it's already end of life, has been for some time. Can we move you? The answer to that is yes, we can. Um, and we have a, a number of ways of doing it. Um, but as Jeff quite rightly mentioned in his little talk there, uh, it's all got to be done with a point of view of de-risking it. We, we don't want to leave you guys in a position where you find yourself unable to use your existing reports, charts, dashboards, etc., or even out of, um, uh, out of support in a way that not only can you not use them, but you just can't get at them for a period of time. 
So we've worked on a particular way of uh, doing a, a migration, a sort of upgrade and migration at the same time from you know, the older versions to a newer version. Um, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to keep it uh, so that you guys can carry on working, so your BAU continues. Um, we'll upgrade the uh, configuration of the Yellowfin instance um, on a, an independent piece of hardware, so your, your, your current system just carries on going. <clears throat> uh, it'll include that layer that sits between uh, BMC and Yellowfin, so your user accounts and everything will carry on working. Um, we don't have to export all the content from your existing uh, smart reporting solution to the new one. That sort of goes with it as part of the process. If we need to actually export content, we can do so. There is a way of doing it, but we, we've worked out a much faster way of doing it. Um, all the user accounts, etc., go with it as well, as long um, uh, along with your custom styling, layouts, graphics, charts, all that sort of stuff. They all sort of move in one process. Uh, and the last exercise, although it's a bit out of order that list, um, we then redirect the BMC to the new smart reporting once the process is done. So we've actually done this a number of times, and we do it with a, a, another uh, product that has Yellowfin embedded in it in a very, very similar way. So we're very used to the process, um, and it's the... The, the principle is the same whether it's a Windows environment or a Unix environment. Um, you shouldn't feel any difference whatsoever other than the end result being the newer, uh, modern, up-to-date products as opposed to a you know, slightly out-of-date version. So there is a bit of science behind this. It isn't a, a sort of just follow the general upgrade path that we've got within Yellowfin anyway. Uh, we do need to do a few things uh, behind the scenes to make this all nice and seamless. <clears throat> the first one of those is we've got a, a bunch of scripts that will run against the current configuration uh, of smart reporting to get a list of all the re relevant reports and charts that uh, dashboards that have links, um, sub queries and code displays, etc. Sort of complicated reports will get that report back to us so that we can actually analyze that and we know exactly what the playing field is that we're we're working on. We don't. We're not guessing, we, we can see exactly what's happening uh, within the environment. It also is really useful in that we can actually come back to you guys and go, do you know you've got this number of reports that are just never used? Uh, and that might be something you want to look at and go, actually, whilst we're at this exercise, let's clear those out. So it's, it's a very useful exercise, and we're going to need that. The actual process is a case of taking uh, a duplicate of your current smart reporting environment, and that is the actual interface, the, the front end, as well as the configuration database, making a duplicate of those two things, applying all of the necessary upgrades to the interface duplicate, not the original. And what happens there is that you guys will just carry on working uh, with the original. We'll do all the upgrades on the duplicate whether that is the interface or the back-end database, et cetera. We do all of that lot. We test that to death, um, and we'll need you guys to sign off on that as we go through that. So you'll need to um, have access to the new environment to actually look at whether your uh, reports, dashboards, et cetera, all appear as you are expecting to see them. Uh, we then adjust the, the AR layers, effectively the link between BMC and the new um, Yellowfin instance, uh, wherever that may be, whether that's being hosted for you, whether it's living on premise, um, you know, whatever, wherever that is, it doesn't matter as long as we've got a route through to the BMC database and all of those upgrades have gone through quite nicely. Um, we adjust those layers and we effectively flick a switch to say, stop using the old instance and now start using the new instance. Now, I appreciate that there is a period of time between old instance um, you guys will still be using that, that BAU period, and the upgrade taking place. Um, there will be a period of time. It's maybe two, three, four days, whatever that period of time is, and you may well build content in that period of time on the old instance, and that's where we're able to just export that specific content and import that to the new environment. Um, so we'll keep you up to date in that sense. Once everybody's happy, as I said, we'll flip that switch. Um, the old instance will stop being used and you'll start using the new instance. 
uh, directly from BMC as you do now. Um, we go through a period of time just making sure everything's still fine for you. But uh, as I said at the beginning, that sort of de-risks it because you, you carry on working in the environment that you're used to. We've created a new environment and should there be anything in there that isn't exactly as you expect, i.e. a report or a dashboard just isn't appearing as you expect it to appear, we can actually refer back to the original instance and see what it looks like. And if necessary, do whatever needs to be done um, to get it back up to where it should be. So we've always got the original in place that we can look at. Only when everything's signed off and everybody's happy uh, that the new instance is doing what it's supposed to be doing, will we switch off the old one completely um, and get rid of that. Uh, just just move it to one side and that's it, all, all gone. So as I said, there is science behind this. It isn't, it isn't just a, a standard sort of upgrade path. Um, we are doing this with a whole view of you being able to and still needing to carry on working whilst we're doing this uh, upgrade process and then we catch up at the end. Okay, um, that was a very short, sharp um, quick walk through what's going on with that. Uh, we'll have a quick look, see if there's any questions at this stage. If not, I'll hand back to Jeff and uh, I'll stay on the call, obviously, and if there are any questions, I'll pick those up at the end. Thanks, Carl. No, we're all good. Uh, over to you, Jeff. Thanks. Thank you, Carl. Yeah, guys, fire the questions in. Even if the questions can't be answered today, we will definitely you know, make sure we expedite any answers back to you as soon as we possibly can. Uh, oh, gone on. Right, pricing. Such an interesting subject. No one's interested in price because it's just it's all about value. So uh, we'll just skip the pricing module and call it high value. Um, yeah, we, we've thought about long and hard about this in terms of trying to make it simple in the context that... Um, from the BNC perspective, you have this, um, this, this licensing model of which is fixed, floating, and read. Um, and you know what those models are. And we are trying to make sure that we can, we can map onto that, which, which we can. I mean, Yellowfin might call it fixed. We might call it um, named. Floating might be called concurrent. And read might be called you know, read. Um, but there's different ways of doing that. And we, we can look at different models. But what we try to do is just as a start of a turn to give some, some concept to it is look at a model that we think is probably a, a start for 10 to, to at least put some kind of order of magnitude around things. So one of the other thing licensing options and models is what we call a core licensing model, where we basically don't license on the actual number of users. We license on a core basis. And then the only restriction there is the ability of the cores to actually drive the power, to drive the output, to actually serve the needs of the users. Um, and this is a, a well-used um, Yellowfin licensing model. It may, may well fit for you as a BMC customer, it, it may well not. And we've actually done a couple of pricing configurations with, with customers on more of a, a fixed floating and read model. But just to give us a, an indication of the kind of numbers that we're talking about, a small four car capped, which means that you can only have 100 named users. The price there is this is in, I'll call it euros, just to be this, we said GPB, Euro and USD in the current market, they're probably all near parity anyway in terms of commercial FX rates, but we'll call it euro for the sake of being in the middle. And that means um, the first option is uh, 15,000 euros, um, but you can only have the two data sources that really are the BMC data sources. If you wanted to move up to unlimited sources, then there's obviously a premium to move that up to 20,000 euros. Um, there is a medium four core uncapped, which is unlimited users. The reason we put the guidance note of 200 concurrent is depending on the workload you apply to a Yellowfin platform, we have customers running 200 concurrent users, in, 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 not just in read mode, I mean actually actively hitting the system. So let's in, in the context call it either fixed or floating, people are actually interacting with the dashboards and doing things. An order of magnitude is it'll support around 200 concurrent users. And a large or an eight core, again, is un, uncapped from a licensing perspective but you're, you're normally talking about having 400 concurrent users on the platform at any given time doing some work. Those are the kind of orders that manage you. If you've got a very low, uh, if you've got a very low um, um, high usage in terms of the uh, the floating or the fixed, and you've got an awful lot of readers, 
then you know that that capacity can be increased depending on the workload. It's just an order of magnitude. But one of the things we've talked about and Carl's alluded to is we'd make sure that we did an understanding of your your workload before we actually put anything onto the table for you guys. Um, and as I said, it's an annual subscription. So we're moving away from perpetual. Yellowfin's licensing model is subscription. So this is a this is an annual subscription price, not a not a, a perpetual plus maintenance price. Concurrency is the guideline only, subject to dependencies, but we're pretty comfortable what we know with that. We also include within the, the model two non-production licenses free of charge, i.e. QA and testing. Um, it's a Yellowfin EULA because you're now contracting, i.e. through a probably through a BMC partner or a partner of some description commercially, but ultimately that's that's aligning up to a, a Yellowfin EULA, which is an end user license license agreement. Uh, if you've got a particular situation where you've got multiple domains or multiple instances and you've got a lot of clustering, then I, the, my advice would be just talk to us about what that looks like if you've got a very complex environment. We have one conversation going on at the moment where there's multiple domains, multiple clustering, and we just need to make sure that we uh, we understand that. But on that one, just come and talk to us or talk to your partners and we'll, we'll find a commercial model that fits. And Signals is giving away, I hate to use that word free of charge, we like to think it's added value. Um, and it's something that we can see significant value in for, for the use case, such as looking at ITSM and looking at service levels and looking for anomalies. That's just to give you an idea of the pricing, as, I, as I'll say all the way through. Talk to us about it, but it's just to give you an indication of the kind of budgetary numbers that you need to be thinking about to move to a Yellowfin environment in some way, shape or form. I'm waiting for the questions to come flying in on that one. Um, what we do have, or what we will be providing, is a, and we, this will be part of the uh, things we we'll post onto the wiki or to the or to the community, will be a form that if you can fill that in, if you are interested, the more you can fill in this form, gives us much more information about your particular scenario. We'll talk with you and with your your partners, your BMC Yellowfin partners, if necessary, and we we'll look at this and provide something which is very attuned to what you need, so that there's a high degree of confidence that the proposition will, will meet your needs. And it's looking for exactly that. You know, what's your failover? How many Q&As do you need? What current version are you on? You know, what are you looking for from a licensing perspective? When do you want to start this? When's the migration going to look at? Is there is there services you need from either, you know, an external source or from within the Yellowfin community? All of those things that can help us give you a very, very, um, a very precise and a very um, relevant um, customization or, or pricing option. So that's that's the key for that one. And we, we're quite busy on that at the moment, actually. There's, there's a few of those flying around at the moment. Um, I'm just going to pass over to Jean now to finish off with the looking at the assets, the Wiki and the community. What we're very aware of is, you know, this is a this is a moving feast. There's, there's things changing in this scenario all the time. What we have to be able to do is make available to you as much information as possible for you to be able to self-serve on a lot of the documentation information available so you can move as, as quickly as you need to do and you're not dependent entirely on speaking to an individual. We obviously recommend that you speak to us at any given time that you need to, but we're going to present and provide you with as much information as we can to allow you to make that balanced, well thought through judgment call on what you think your options are and how you'd like to proceed. So on that note, if there is any questions, well, yeah, there's, just... there's actually a question from Lucas, but I, I'll probably cover that one uh, in my section actually around partner okay. services. Um, cool. So I've seen your question and I'll, I'll, I will, I, I've got that on my list to cover. So uh, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. No problem. Right. Thank you, Jean. I'll, yeah, thank you. I'll pick up from here. So, yeah, so we, we've, you know, I realise we've given you a lot of information, <laughs> a lot to absorb there. So I just wanted to cover some of the assets and links, um, you know, the key links and, and information for you to look at. I mean, obviously, the reason, partly the reason why we gave you a lot of information at the beginning is we realise that many of you will need to make that business case internally on, on reviewing the costs, the options. Um, and part of that will be the costs of, of potentially the services for the migration as well as the license cost as well. So um, we will talk about that. Um, we do have a, a landing page, which um, if any of you want to have that one-on-one, -on -one, would like that one-on-one -on -one conversation with us to ask questions about the anything that we're covering today. Um, in fact, if you there's, there's a link there that you can see on your screen, but if you just went into Google and typed Yellowfin, and then BMC, it would take you directly to our land. It should take you directly to our, our landing page and you can fill that in and just see a bit more information on that. 
um, and then we'll get back to you and we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation uh, to cover your questions. Uh, we're actually putting a number of assets onto our community. We have two key areas for information. One is the Elephant Community, where we do have a lot of articles around this. As you can imagine, there's, there's questions and answers linked to smart reporting in our community. But we will also add some assets. Um, Carl's written um, a technical documentation um, sort of guide, if you like, you know, talking through that migration path. Now, just to be clear, it is a work in progress. It is a bit of a living document at the moment, and we're adding more information as we get feedback. Um, but that will be posted. The first draft will be posted in our community. And we also have a change management document. You're used to seeing the equivalent of version seven or nine, uh, seven or eight. So we do have a version nine change document. So you'll see the additional features. So there's a wiki document on that. Um, for the price list, you know, we've shared that openly with you. Um, but you can, you know, certainly for any deeper discussion, your BMC partners, if you're working with one right now, um, can can support you with that, or, or Yellowfin or our Yellowfin partners. Um, and again, just go back to filling in that landing page and we can send you sp very specific to your, you know, your use case. We can send you sort of a commercial quote on that. Um, and we'll also have this deck available if you want to share this wider with your internal teams um, or if you want to, um, you know, review it yourself. This deck and the, and the recording will be available to share. Um, and we're actually working at the moment on, on a paper around this. And that's, sort of a, again, work in progress. Um, but just to reiterate, we've been working with a number of partners over recent months, um, you know, across Germany, where we've, you know, we've got a few customers successfully completed this process. Some are in the middle of this process right now. So, um, you know, we've got that confidence in connecting with experts that can really help you. Um, so I think that was just a quick high level on the assets available. Um, if there's anything you feel is missing, let us know. But we, you know, across those different sources, there should be answers to most questions. Um, and I think then um, going back to Lukash, your question that you posted in in the in the question box there. Um, yeah, the the pricing that Jeff shared was very specifically that is only the license that is the license price. Um, and we totally recognise that part of your decision the process will be then. Well, what is the actual cost? potential service cost for the migration. Um, and again, I think that's something that needs to be measured on a case basis. It could be, you know, a, a, just a few day process. We, we've seen that. But I, I think we need to look at, you know, where you are, you know, what you, you currently have and, and ask a partner to quote you on uh, the, the potential days needed um, or the cost of the migration. But we're talking in, in, you know, maybe this is one, Carl, for you to sort of comment on, but I think it's in a lot of cases, it'll be a question. It's not necessarily months of engagement. It'll be a fairly fast process, Carl. So if you can jump in and maybe comment on that, on the scope. Yeah, just, just, yeah. I can, I can help a bit. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, if we're going to migrate content, um, actually piece by piece, dashboard by dashboard, report by report, yes, it's a lengthy process because all of that needs to be tested as you go through. Uh, and make sure the connection is still established and all those sort of bits and pieces happen. Um, whereas the route that we are taking with the upgrade is to uh, upgrade the product, uh, albeit in a new location, but upgrade the product, taking all of the config data with it. So all of the dashboards, reports, charts, etc., all of that as the upgrade of the products takes place. Um, there will be things that don't quite work fully. We know that. Um, but that's why we do the initial exercise of uh, running those scripts to get the actual uh, content um, report back to us so we know exactly what those reports are likely to be uh, that can cause issues. And then it's a case of just sorting those reports out. It's a, it's a day's exercise, not a week's or month's exercise. Um, and that's a little bit flowery, I understand, but we don't know exactly how many reports you've got, so we don't know exactly how long the process is going to take. Um, again, that's why we do that little script bit at the beginning to see yes. what the uh, uh, what the landscape is. Absolutely. No, thank you, Carl. No, that, I think that hopefully that helps everybody understand that um, that process. So yes, absolutely, we would love to connect you with a, a, a partner who can discuss that with you. Um, I think there's other areas um, as we work with partners um, who have you know, either completed this or are fully expert on this topic is how they can support you with potentially either training or consulting. So it's um, either upgrade, you know, upgrade training, um, you know, all of these steps that Carl's already talked to you through today, uh, we can actually find someone who can support you, support you with that process. 
Um, I wanted to share as well as um, you're working with BMC partners potentially, we, we want to share that we do have a really a really strong and very experienced Yellowfin uh, partner channel and of which, you know, Carl is based in the UK, but across the different regions, we, we do have um, a strong, a strong experts to help. And wh whether you're in France or in Germany or you're in Spain, um, we can connect you with your local Yellowfin partner to work together as a team to review where you're at, where you want to get to, help you maybe explore your options, give you a wider demo of, of the full Yellowfin analytics platform if you want to see the wider functionality as part of your business case. But uh, I think the starting point for the majority we're spoken to is that they simply want the that smart reporting piece to be you know fixed and addressed and, and upgrades to Yellowfin. Um, as a starting point, and then we can explore the wider functionality that that will give you as part of this process. Um, so we, you know, we'll share this deck with you so you do have local contacts. But again, I'm happy to make an introduction if you want to come via us in the first instance. Um, and, and, you know, just to, you know, reiterate as well, we do have a full team here, uh, not just an EMEA. I know there's some of you on the call today from the United States, and we have our counterpart teams uh, across, the, across the globe for Yellowfin. Um, we are now part of the IDERA group headquartered in America, so have a strong team throughout the, throughout the globe. Um, and we do have um, experts within our team as well to help throughout the onboarding process to collaborate with our partners, bring everything together to make this a really um, not really good experience for you. Uh, we also have customer success and, and support teams in place um, as we go through the process. So we're here as well to back, to back you up, just to reiterate all that point. Um, and I think finally, just in closing, I, I, we wanted to aim to finish around about 40 minutes so um, and allow any time for final questions. Um, you know, just to reiterate again, there's a picture of me in, in, in earlier days. <laughs> um, and my colleague, uh, Chuck Westerberg, is the partner manager based in the US team. So, you know, please reach out to either of us either directly or do complete the landing page. And it'll be me landing on my desk anyway, so I can either speak to you, work, work with you, find out who you're working with in the BMC partner side, or connect you um, over the next steps. Um, and, you know, you're welcome, as I say, going back to the community that we have, you know, any questions that, you know, do post them in there as well. We've got people uh, in our team keeping an eye on that and, and working through that. But um, so I hope that's been, uh, hope, uh, hope that's been helpful. <laughs> uh, as I say, we've given you a lot of detail just to support you with that thought process on, on the best way forward for you and, and based on your business case. Um, see Yellowfin in all its glory there. You may recognize that from smart reporting, but uh, um, yeah. So I'd just like to open up to any, any final questions. Don't be shy, you know, we can, you can post them in the question box. Carl's here, Jeff's here, anything on the commercial side. Um, or if that's covered everything you need for now and you want to absorb things, just uh, feel free just to reach out um, afterwards. So I'll give a minute for any any thought process, any typing that's going on in the background. Or just give us a thumbs up if that was helpful. <laughs> any final words, Jeff, from your side as we wrap up? Jeff, are you there? Sorry. I'm not sure if Jeff is frozen. I'll, I'll just wrap up anyway. I think there's no Hi, more Jane. questions. Hi, Jane. Okay. I left okay. Okay. Sorry, Jane. Let's just say Hi. thanks very much for taking the time. We, we know this has been a, an interesting journey over the last 12 months or more since the BMC announcements yeah. were made. Um, but we, now are, we now are in a position to be able to give you the confidence that you can continue with the Yellowfin as your reporting platform. And we think that brings so much value and so much... Um, as we alluded to earlier, de-risks your position in, because, it, as we said, change is, change is not always easy. Um, and, and to give you access to a, to a world-beating platform. And we could not do this without our partners. So both our, you know, the, our BM, the partners we have through the BMC community, but also the par partners we have through the Yellowfin community. Um, we are all here as a team to, to collectively make sure that whatever we do right from the first conversation is with the, your best interest at heart. And uh, we fully understand that it's an interesting challenge you guys have got. And uh, we want to do our very best to make sure that we give you the option to move your business forward with a high degree of security and a high degree of confidence. And uh, that's what we intend to do. And it's with that, I'd like to thank Jane, obviously thank Carl. And uh, my, my takeaway is just reach out and talk to us. You know, a 10-minute conversation can really help um, clarify certain issues rather than just, you know, 
just looking at decks all the time. So please reach out to us and we will do our very best to get back to you and we'll, we'll get into a conversation and really understand how we can help you. Fabulous. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for your time today. And thank you, Jeff and Carl, as well. Hope You're to welcome. chat to you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye now. Bye-bye. Cheers, all. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, Carl. Bye. <laughs>